Hey guys, we're here today at Formnext 2019 looking at the Aeon 3D M2 3D printer. Now, we just started carrying this thing and we've been working with the guys at Aeon for quite a while now. Uh, and this machine is a high temperature, dual independent extruder 3D printer. Uh, it's built in Canada and it's an industrial machine. So, one of the coolest things about this machine in particular is obviously the dual independent extruder so you got one on that side and one on the other and so you can print two materials simultaneously 500 on the extruder uh, 140 in the chamber for the 2020 model 250 on the bill plate when you buy this machine you know you can't just buy the machine you have to buy some support and service packages now people are like oh but i know what i'm doing well <laughs> See, the thing with Aeon is it's founded on material science. So they have a team of material scientists that are doing this all day, day in, day out with all kinds of aerospace companies. And when you buy this machine, you get complete access to that team. And this is completely essential in having total success with your 3D prints because they will tell you, you know, from the get-go, from the STL, from the design of your part, you know, they will show you how to change the design in little ways to, you know, use less material, make it stronger, use less support material. These little tweaks that you just can't get without the expertise they provide. From the design of your part to the actual slicing of your part. This machine, they use Simplify 3D, which is one of the leading slicers for creating your 3D printer tool path. Uh, and that's what we mostly like to use in the shop. And frankly, it just gives some of the best results uh, for surface finish and just overall the way it's laying down the plastic. When you have interesting geometry, you know, you're going around and it'll, it'll you know, some slicers will uh, put a whole bunch of different little extrusions in this corner and over there. Simplify 3D does a really great job and they include that with the machine. Now, when you have access to their team, they will help you pick the correct settings, the ins and outs of how to optimize that part for printing speed, for printing strength. You know, maybe it's a structural part and you can do it with larger layer heights. You know, that's a really important thing, but you'll have a team there, not only us, you'll have us, you always got us on the phone, you know, but you get the entire Aeon 3D team to help you actually successfully print the parts you need to. Now, Obviously, another one of the great features of the M2 is the giant build volume. This is a 454 by 454 by 640 millimeter, 18 by 18 by 25. Now, in there, you'll see they've got a Mike 6 aluminum plate topped with an Ultim plate. So this takes care of most of the adhesion that you need for many, many materials. You don't really have to use too much, especially in the high temp. If you just dial in that that uh, Z offset on the first layer, a lot of times you can just get it to stick. 200 Celsius plus on the bed, that's all you need. That's above the TG of most of the plastics you'll be printing. So you know, like if you're printing peak at that temperature, it actually stays, uh, it stays transparent on the bed, which is really, really cool. You know, over here, they've got this screen over here so you can see different elements of the printing. So you've got all kinds of different tweaking things for the motion, the calibration. You've got the controls, it gives you all your different temperatures. Uh, I don't want to hit any buttons and uh, ruin the print, but yeah, very nice interface here. And this whole package actually comes with some of the most detailed documentation I've ever seen online. You can actually access that right now. Just check out our website and we'll have a link somewhere there for that. But the amount of detail they go into in training you to use the machine and giving you the resources you need to actually use it to produce the parts that you're making is phenomenal, it's great. Uh, another great benefit is these guys are right up there in Montreal, Canada, our brothers from the north, just, uh, you know, if you're in America, or if you're in the US, anywhere, that they're in practically the same time zone. So you get really, really good support. They speak the language, it's awesome. It's really, really cool crew up there, very helpful guys. We've learned a lot, we've shared a lot, it's been a good time. So let's take a look at uh, some of these parts up here. Obviously you've got Peak Polyether Ketone, very good, Ultim 9085 or PEI uh, from Savic. Beautiful parts, some more Ultim 9085, 
strong stuff. This stuff is incredible. If you're doing aerospace parts or jigs, fixturing, tooling, stuff like that, really, really good. Um, obviously, you've got the carbon fiber variations of all of those as well. And if you're doing huge ABS prints, I mean, the heated chamber is absolutely necessary. So if you're just printing ABS, maybe you're printing parts for cars, uh, something of that nature, um, the heated chamber is going to totally change the game for those materials and printing big, strong parts. Now, here we have a very, very cool example. I believe this is Carbon Fiber Peak. This is a uh, extremely strong, very rigid material. I mean, th th honestly, this is a couple years old. This is a sample they had a while ago, so they've been in the game for a minute. Now, the carbon fiber additive or the carbon fiber fill on most of these materials really, really helps your dimensional stability, keeping it accurate, you know, taking the warping down, and you can print bigger parts, especially with a 140 Celsius heated chamber. Very, very cool stuff. Now, another thing they're starting to work on uh, that they've been using for a while is the Aquasys soluble support material. Now, this is a high temperature support. As you can see, that gold honeycomb looking deliciousness right there. Um, I believe this is a nylon six with carbon fiber in it. And uh, obviously you've got the dual independent heads. So you're not, you're not oozing all over your part while you're printing the support material or while you're printing the regular material. They're totally separate and they scrape and purge before going back to the part. So you get a cleaner finish and you don't have as many errors in the print job. Uh, very, very nice stuff. I mean, dude, this uh, just beautiful surface finish of this part. All these parts. If you're doing production, if you're doing prototyping, if you need a big amount of build volume, you need to be able to make big parts, but also do small detailed parts in high temperature performance thermoplastics. This is an excellent, excellent choice for your shop. So anyway, we're here at Form Next 2019. Having a great time. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Have a positive day.